Oh, hi. There you are. I've been waiting for you. I want to talk to you about something. I know you're hoping I'm going to talk about my favorite topic, food. Man, do I like food. No, I want to talk to you about my human. My human and computers. Bear with me. It'll only take a few minutes. When I first met my human, she was a professional learner. She learned in libraries and was paid to write about the learning. It took her all over the world. That's how she met me. I was living in the streets of a big Asian city. Lots of nice food there. Anyway, my human also taught about the learning. Face to face in classrooms. After years of learning and teaching, it struck her that it was basically the same wherever she went. A privileged human talking about a privileged occupation to other privileged humans. My human loved learning and teaching, but she wished it would have a purpose beyond academic articles and students in classrooms. She also yearned to learn and teach in more creative ways. One day she made a video about me. Not about my food, unfortunately, but about my life on the street. She posted it online. Then 300,000 people watched the video. They left messages that they were touched. Some even donated money to help my friends. My human reached more people with that short video than with all her articles and lectures. She found that computers and the internet were a great starting point for more engagement and a bigger audience. So, you're thinking that human went digital and lived happily ever after? Far from it. For years, my human continued her job of learning in libraries and teaching in classrooms. But she also took classes on digital communication and multimedia. And then she found a great job, making online courses for people who were not as privileged as her, who could not afford to go to school or who lived too far from school to attend. Did you read that text by Loa Monk, The Human Touch? He says computers make intellectual creativity and personal growth obscure. For my human, it was the opposite. Creativity and growth in learning and teaching came, for her, with the digital age. She loved the libraries. She still does. But for her, it just wasn't much fun knowing that there are so many people out there who will never be able to enjoy them. At least now she's sharing access to knowledge and she has so much fun doing it. So that's what I wanted to tell you about technology and my human. Oh, sorry, did, did you say something? Food? Did you say food? Food! 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 Food!